Mud daubers are taking over the caves at Retidian Wildlife Preserve, planting mud hives and covering what is left of ancient pictographs on the cave walls. Michelle Cadahay reports that a number of the mud structures inside the caves have doubled from last, year's prof uh, last year. Professionals are working together to see what can be done to save these ancient markings. It's about a 10-minute hike through the jungle at Retidian Beach to the caves. Inside, pictographs tell stories of ancient Chamorros dating back to the Latte period. Rudolph Filiverdi is concerned about the future of these precious markings. He works on computer networks for the University of Guam, and in 2000, he used his training in code deciphering and astronomy and navigation to decode these ancient markings. It tells a narrative of the identity of the Chamorro people. And um, we have already lost so much in the past that we cannot afford to lose any more. Villaverde says it's important to get other agencies involved to help preserve the pictographs. The treasure is really the knowledge to pass down to the generations of children. And that's really the core issue here, to have uh, the heritage of a people to be passed down to the children of the next generation. UOG entomologist Aubrey Moore says there may be various types of wasps involved in covering up the pictographs. Right now, he says it's hard to determine what can be done. We're not ready to make any firm recommendations yet, but one thing we're considering is simply excluding these wasps from the cave in some way, maybe using some loose netting. Uh, the concern there is it might change the microhabitat of the cave. Cave, it might make it more humid. Moore says another alternative is an insecticide to help get rid of the wasps. But that may not be a good idea to release insecticides into the caves, since it's a wildlife refuge and non-targeted organisms could be harmed as well. Meanwhile, Retidian Wildlife Refuge Manager Chris Bandy says it's all about working together. Now we're all here trying to figure out where to start looking at, look at what is the problem, why is this cave attractive to them, uh, what effect are they really having and how can we prevent more damage from occurring? Our Chamorro ancestors once lived here, and this is where they told their stories. It is important that we preserve what we have left to share with the next generation. In Retidian, I'm Michelle Cadahy, Pacific News Center.